Gmail.com news desk, bringing you the best of this week's news. I'm XB. And I'm JD. So, JD, how are you doing this week? Oh, I'm thumbs up, buddy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Takara Tomi released official images of upcoming exclusive Arms Micron figures, Orion Packs, and Thundercracker. Orion is from the first edition Deluxe Optimus Prime mold and is based on the opening storyline of Transformers Prime's second season, while Thundercracker is based on squeezing every Starscream mold for as much collector money as possible. Uh, these figures will be released on October 20th, with Orion being exclusive to big camera stores, and Thundercracker is sold exclusively at Yodabashi. So, Thundercracker is really no surprise at this point, but how about that Orion PAX? Um... It's uh well as you can see uh, here it's a it's it's very pink ish. Magenta and, I would say. Yeah. A lot of people are saying pink, but yes, yeah, magenta. Well, I mean for one, I mean it's uh, you know we haven't we haven't gotten this mold in the states other than the uh exclusive, right? The yeah. uh the uh Although this is one of the figures that's going to be coming to Toys R Us when they get the next uh iteration of first edition. Right. Right. So, you know, and I'm, I mean, I'm all about the Armors Microns because, I mean, I, I love those, so I like the little deals. Yep. But he comes with Ratchet. He comes with a uh, a sort of a gold-plated version of Ratchet's weapon. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not super impressed, I guess, by that. Yeah. Um, it would have been interesting. It, it would have been more interesting if he would have come with – well, for one, it doesn't make sense. It, it breaks their their meme because the Decepticons all have arms microns that turn into animals, oh, right, and the right. Autobots all have arms microns that turn into robots. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really make sense for him to have, if he's supposed to be a Decepticon, to have a arms micron that turns into a robot. He should be. They should have given him one of the other. You know what they should have done. I mean, they could have given him one of the like the sword parts from Megatron's huge sword or something like that. Something that would have been a bladed weapon. Yeah, that makes sense. I understand you know. what you're saying. But um, yeah. and then of course Thundercracker is not very creative at all. Just coming with Starscream's Micron. Yeah, he comes with uh, with just the uh, the Starscream. Um, I don't know what that is—an elk thing or ram? Uh, I guess it's a ram. Buffalo, I think. Buffalo. I don't I know. Think. It's it gold comes with plated. a thing that turns into a drill. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. considering it's like, you know, more like um, toy grade, you know, like a model kit grade, it may not, you know, normally you would think about, you look at that and you go, it's going to flake. And I, it may not, not too bad. So It probably will. But it probably will, I guess, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime is on the way. Toys R Us listed the Hasbro edition of MP10 on their website this past Sunday, accepting pre-orders for the figure that will begin shipping on October 15th. As of recording time, the website no longer carries the listing and is presumed to have pre-sold out their initial quality quantity. Uh, look for this to hit physical locations very soon if you missed out. I gotta admit, I um, I put it in the shopping cart and I went all the way through and put my credit card information in. And I could not pull the trigger. I just I couldn't uh -huh. do it. So um, I wonder I'm, if Kilby got one. I don't know. I'm still sad that we didn't get to see him cry at Botcon. But um, no, yeah. that would have been such a good Botcon memory. It really would have. I'm like, oh, remember that, when that, Kilby cried because he paid two hundred dollars for something he could pay a hundred dollars for later? That utter dis two fifty. That oh, utter yeah. despair. Mm. Oh well. Um, I think I cheated now. Yeah. But no, I just couldn't. I couldn't pull the trigger on. I'll wait till I see it in store, I guess. Yeah, um, I I don't plan on getting one of these at all. But I mean, I'm not really that into the masterpiece line anyway. Um, yeah, I don't have as many as I used to, but uh, you know, I've heard this figure is really good, and you know, mm -hmm. I, I want and it. it. It's, I mean, it's notable that it's basically unchanged from the Japanese one physically. Uh, yeah. Some of the colors are different, but they didn't even shorten the smokestacks. Yeah, but it's got the trailer and everything too, so it's like yeah. you know, bike. I need to have. I would need a prominent place to display it. Which you don't have. Right, and where the cats can't get to. Which you don't have. Which I also don't have. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Hasbro Asia is releasing Energon Bruticus Maximus as they continue looking for the limits of what their market will bear. Based heavily on the Revenge of the Fallen release, the colors have gotten further small adjustments to try to be closer to G1 Bruticus. 
costs to import this are still up in the air, but it's a good chance either way that it'll be less than what it costs to get the movie released secondhand these days. So you want to take bets on how long before Fans Project announces a reissue of their Crossfire figures? I've, I'm surprised it's not out yet. I'm surprised they haven't, uh, you know, done the one for the uh, City Commander. You know, since that's oh, getting a yeah. Henke release, I'm surprised that we haven't seen, you know, more of the City Commander ones coming out. So. Although, you know, City Commander got two or three separate releases from Fans Project already. Yeah, but I didn't get one I mean, yet. It, it's it's not as expensive to go get one as it once was. True. Yeah. I, I think... mean, there's people selling sets of classics Ultra Magnus and City Commander for under two hundred dollars now. Yeah. And I have the Ultra Magnus. I just don't have the the deal. But yeah, I imagine that we'll see that come back out pretty quick. Um, you know, it, it it'll be interesting to see if this is going to be something that we'll end up getting stateside, a la the other Asian exclusives. You know, yeah. or or if they'll pass on it because it's already been out here. So you know, the Asian market's getting a lot of kind of off the wall stuff. They're getting uh, Energon Omega Supreme reissued with some deco tweaks. You know, mm-hmm. stuff like there. Uh, there's even going to be like a special Gaia Unicron in more G1 friendly colors. So uh, I mean, they're getting all kinds but... of stuff there that we wouldn't really have an expectation of seeing over here. I think. Um, those generations figures that Toys R Us is getting is more of an aberration than a pattern we can expect to follow. Yeah, the I, I call it the bag of blades guy. But um, <laughs> that figure will never come out in the U.S. We will never see that because it's just got too many sharp edges and stuff. If we did, it would be made of rubber. <laughs> and I don't think it's that much of a loss. Not, not really. I mean, although I did see it does combine with like Optimus and Megatron. That's just kind of cool. Weird, yeah. Um, no, <laughs> okay, but weird. As, we'll go as with that. As for Verticus Maximus, I mean, well, for one thing, you know, they got the Fall of Cybertron uh, Verticus going around, and I don't really think there's going to be that much demand for the Energon molds here again. No, no, probably not. So I, I wouldn't really expect to see that turn up over here. No, I mean, yeah, especially, like I said, since it's been out here, I mean, it'd be one thing if we didn't get that set. Like, the Asian yeah. exclusives, we didn't get those colors. So, you know. Uh, so, do you need some fresh Transformers representation on your Christmas tree this year? Toys R Us has listed a five-piece set of Transformers Prime Christmas ornaments. But after getting a good look at the RC, we suggest this might not be great for homes with small children. Who? That's, um... <laughs> That's uh, that's a scary yeah. stare there. Yeah. Bumblebee's not that much better, but yeah, RC definitely wins this one. Yeah. That that's some uh, child deterrent right there. Yeah, some definite uh, neon bits. I'm sure my wife would be really excited about getting that stuff on the Christmas tree too. <laughs> well, no. See, the trick is you just get that and you put it like on the back side of the Christmas tree. Oh no! So you know, you know it's there, and you can go look at it, but she's not going to see it at a casual glance. Oh no, no! I want to put that up right up front. I want that to be prominent. You know, I want when the in-laws to come over to see that. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, in that case, you know, you should take the prime one and stick it up on top in place of the star. Yes. Yes. That's a good idea. Actually, see, that's what they should make. They should make a little light-up matrix thing to put on. Top oh man! Can you imagine? Like Optimus holding the Matrix, and like the oh yes, <laughs> there you go, licensees, jump on that. Yes. Well, that'll do it for this week's T Formers News Desk. Be sure to come back and see us next time for the best of next week's news.